What's up guys, this is Aim Siddiqui from Android Dissected. Today I'm going to show you how to get TouchWiz on your phone. Uh, a couple of prerequisites. Your phone needs to be rooted and you need to have a custom recovery installed on your phone. Uh, I prefer uh, clockwork mode recovery, but if you like the TWRP, that's fine, you're good to go. So, uh, I just flashed AOKP Milestone 2 on my Galaxy Nexus here. Uh, I literally just flashed it a couple of minutes ago. It's completely stock, it's stock launcher, everything stock, nothing special here. Uh, so for the TouchWiz launcher, what you need to do is you need to go to the XDA thread. Uh, the link is in the description. You can check it out uh, down below. You need to go to this thread and you need to figure out, uh, first of all, you need to figure out what device resolution you have. The Galaxy Nexus has a resolution of 1280 by 720 so it's X HDPI. If you have a resolution of 480 by 800 then you have HDPI and if you have a resolution of 320 by 480 then you need to get the MDPI version and lastly if you have a resolution of 240 by 320 then you should download the LDPI version. So in this thread you scroll down all the way to the bottom here and you'll see the download um, area you've got the weather widget and you also have the launcher itself so um, I've already downloaded it you can download the transparent weather widget which looks like this there's no background or anything or you can download the default one which looks like that the blue one so uh, you go down here you download your launcher and you also download the weather widget and then at the bottom here You've also got some extra S4 applications. You can have S Voice or you can have All Share, Play, Watch On, Adapt Sound, Group Play, stuff like that. Um, you can also download the wallpapers, which comes in a zip file, but it's not a flashable zip file. You have to extract it and then you can just apply the wallpapers like you would normally. So download what you want. I'm not going to get any of this because I prefer Google Now to S Voice, but it's all a matter of preference. Download um, whatever you want and move it to your internal memory or to the root of your SD card. I've put mine in my folder here, ROMs, Galaxy S4 stuff. I've got my launcher here and I've got my weather widget, the normal one. And of course the wallpapers is not a flashable zip so don't even try flashing that. You can just extract that and then apply the wallpapers normally. Once you've got all your files, um, I suggest you make an Android backup but if you don't want to, that's fine. It shouldn't really harm your device. This TouchWiz launcher has been tested on AOSP-based ROMs like Paranoid Android or CyanogenMod, AOKP, Carbon, stuff like that. So it, it seems to work with all of them. That being said, I would advise you to make an Android backup just in case. So once you've got all your files, you're going to reboot into recovery. Let it reboot. Um... You know, it's weird that every time any phone gets released, Android users are always the first ones to get that look on their device. Even if it's um, like the iPhone iOS 7 was released, we were the first ones to get everything on our phones. And once we did that, we start complaining that, oh, iOS 7 is so ugly. It's really weird. <clears throat> anyway, so recovery is here. We go into, first of all, actually, you're going to go to advanced and you're going to wipe the Dalvik cache. And then you go back, install zip from SD card. You're going to choose your zip file. Scroll down to wherever you put it. It's easier if you just put it in the root of your SD card. But I've put it in my folder here. ROMs, Galaxy S4 stuff. Okay, so I'm going to install the Galaxy S4 launcher. Yes, see that it's installing. Done. Then you're going to go back to choose zip. Uh, go back to your folder. All the way to the bottom, there it is, ROM x 4 and then you're going to flash your weather widget as well. Uh, it's important to note, you can't use a weather widget with a stock launcher, you can't just flash the weather widget and then say, uh, you know, use it with Nova Launcher or Action Launcher. It can only be used with the TouchWiz Launcher. So once you've installed everything, you go to Advanced and you wipe your Dalvik cache again. Once you've done that, you just reboot the system and 
let it reboot and you should be good to go. Okay, so the device has rebooted and I'm gonna unlock it. And you see that it asks if you wanna complete action using launch or touch with home. So you set touch with home and you do, ah, oh, never mind. So this is now Samsung's TouchWiz launcher. We've got the weather widget at the top, and you've got your little dock at the bottom. I can move icons into the dock like that. It's all TouchWiz, nice and smooth. There's no lag. It's really quite smooth, actually. And you get the cool fading animation. If I press the back button, it fades down. Did you see that? So it's nice and smooth. Uh, you also get widgets, same as everything, stock widgets, you can scroll through all of them, like that, and of course if you've got any downloaded apps, I don't have any, I just flashed the ROM, so set that to always, and that's it, you've got TouchWiz on your phone, and it's really cool actually, it's quite nice, um, the weather widget, it works well, you tap on that, it opens up your weather, there we go, nice and cool. And that's it. Of course, there is one problem I noticed with my Galaxy Nexus version. At the bottom here, in the dock, you can see that it sort of overlaps the home page icon. Let it just float. There we go. So you see the icons at the bottom which tell me what page I'm on. The dock overlaps that. And the reason being is that this ROM is not meant to be used with the navbar because uh, of course on Samsung Galaxy S4 it doesn't have any on-screen buttons it has capacitive buttons at the bottom so if you want to use this and get the true experience what you need to do is get rid of the navbar and start using Pi UI and then that should move the dock down and you should be fine so this has been Zaym Siddiqui with Android Dissected I hope you enjoyed watching